Hello and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today we are going to spoof GPS to our mobile phone. So in order to test that the GPS spoofing is working, we will use a an app called GPS Test and install that to our phone. The free version will work perfectly for this. And then we will use this program called GPS SDR Simulator. So we will just open a new window and then we will just get clone this directory. And in order to compile it, we only need to issue this command. So it's it's quite easy. So that's nice. So we will go into the directory and compile it. And it should work without any issues. So the next thing that we need to is that we need to generate a GPS file that we can transmit. So we can use some of these examples down here. So let's say we want to transmit, for example, a static location, aka static mode. So let's go to Google Maps. And let's say that we want to Let's say we want to go to, let's, where do we want to go to today? We want to go to maybe, well, it's pretty hard to see if we go to Antarctica. Well, let's say we go to Cuba, for example. That's far enough away to see on our app as well. So we will just right click here and we get the coordinates right here. So we click on them and then we have some coordinates that we can use. So we will just go back here and then we'll just note down this command. GPS, yes, E. And that are the coordinates and just make sure that you add a hundred as well. No spaces and let it run. So it will generate a file that can be broadcasted for five minutes or 300 seconds. So while this is running, let's just come connect our Blade RF and then just open a new window again. Check that it is visible. It is. And load the FPGA. And then it says that we can run these commands down here to transmit it, or it says that we can run a script somewhere as well. So if we take a look at the GPS right here, there is a Blade RF script. So instead of just running it blindly, let's just have a look at what it does. Because we don't want to run a script without knowing what it does. Generally speaking, we want to make sure that it is accurate. So the frequency looks fine, sample rate looks fine. You can see that's also what it's what what is specified here, and there are some more details as to what you should specify. For example, later if requires 2.6 megahertz sample rate, and the bandwidth is fine. That's fine. That's not too strong. That's pretty low. Like the lowest is I think it's let's see. GXVK, yeah, the lowest is minus 35, so that's not too bad. And these are calculating some stuff that I haven't figured out yet, but I'll just show you. So, help set, let's see, or help cal, it's calibrate commands. So, there is the internal D, uh, DC offset and the other command was is it shown here so LMS and DC as you can see here so these are useful commands when you're transmitting not when you're receiving because otherwise you may end up transmitting with that line in the middle 
that's basically I'll just show you so we will just go here and you can see this line here that's basically as far as I can understand that's the DC line so that's a major issue that if, if for example we are transmitting if, if we're not calibrating or we're just transmitting we will get this uh, DC line here and that will screw up how we transmit now there are different ways to get around this for example GRGSM uh, rotates it so it rotates the how where where the sensor frequency is and then it transmits over here instead while I think this tool does something different like it calibrates it so it's not present almost not present anyway what we need to do is that we have the file that file is called GPS sim.bin and then we basically we can just run it like this so if we run it now and then oh it's it's not like that sorry we will transmit but before we do that let's just hook up uh, our second RTL SDR and have a look at what we're broadcasting as well just to see what it looks like. So I've now connected my RTL SDR, which you can see over here, and then I can try and run the transmit script. So we'll just do that while we take a look at our phone as well. And as you can see, it's uh, it's working over here, and you can see that it's transmitting at very high frequency. Well, it is quite high even though we've set the transmit frequency transmit gain to quite low and we've made sure that we have antenna connected we still need to be careful doing this because we may interfere with gps in cars and other stuff like that so just be aware that this can screw this can screw up gps for everybody nearby your location because the signal is coming from normally from a satellite so it's very weak when it comes to your computer so we'll just pause this because otherwise the recording program will take up a lot of space like on my hard disk and then we'll just confirm it on the phone so we'll just do that in a second so now we are ready to try and test our transmit again but this time i'm also recording the mobile phone so i've already gener generated the file so we'll just run it again and just have a look you can see now it's transmitting in a few moments here we go and if we look at the phone we can see that it is certainly transmitting so if I just take a look I can see that it has found these satellites or our simulated satellites and it hasn't found a fix yet, but that will take a few moments. So if you just let it run for a few moments, it will find a fix. And it looks like it has found a fix now. So you can just see that it has found the location on the map. And if we take a look here, we can see these satellites. That's pretty neat. We can switch to another mode if we want to look, make it look more hex switch back because the compression on YouTube may miss it up it's also a nice compass no there's not but there is some other stuff like we can see some stuff here and let's see what else we got some more stuff so we can even try and run Google Maps now and on Google Maps if we run the locate where I am feature then we will actually be in that country. So if we take a look, we can see that we should be in that country. Yep, that looks good. It says Cuba, so that means that it's working. And you could use this with uh, Pokemon Go as well if you like. So 
that's pretty cool. So that's how you transmit and simulate GPS. Stay tuned and subscribe.